We had some weather problems. We had some squall lines, some rainstorms coming through, and I thought the day was going to be a bust. And Felix takes us out in the evening, and we had a couple little showers. We sat in the truck, and the showers cleared out. The sky was gorgeous, you know, broken cloud cover and the sun coming through. And we went into a grain sorghum field. We moved into the agriculture area of the property into a grain sorghum field. And we're sitting there debating about taking a coal that needs to be removed from the herd. What do you figure that is, dude? And we got in a, in a small stand of scrub trees uh, that's kind of an island in the middle of this field. And once again, we were surrounded by a red stag in the roar. And I'm looking out front. You know, the wind was coming from our nose, and I'm looking out front, and we've got several stags we're looking at and trying to decide which one we're going to go after. Where are you looking? Some more females coming out of the woods, coming out of the sword. We need to just sit tight. That's fine. Because he's going to follow the girls out here. How far is it to that little tree there? Just so we know. 290. Is that doing what with this thing? It is. If I get back to that big heavy tree there where I got a serious rest. Or maybe that dead fall over on the lap. Do we know where the gun is at that far? Uh, it'll be 17 inches low. So if I hold. Go six inches over there. Every now and then, no matter where you think you're hunting, turn around and check behind you. And we turn around and check behind us, and here comes this monster red stag. You know, coming upwind on us, uh, and he, he actually smelled us, turned around and trying to leave, but he had uh, like four hinds with him, and they wanted to get into the sorghum field, so they kept coming. And so when his girls kept coming, you know, against his own better judgment, he turned around and came with them. I had no rest. You know, until we're standing almost in the open, and Juan, uh, who speaks uh, better, better English than I speak Spanish, pats and says, you know, use my shoulder. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Up front? Yeah. He's going down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Great shot. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Excellent shot. Which is great. Thanks. Which is great. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, the red stag was, was interesting to me. I was anxious to get close to one. I've hunted a lot of American elk. So when I walked up on this red stag, the, the similarity is phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, just don't get, don't get in front of him. Yeah, he's finished. Good job. Right there. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. I think you're getting one. Oh, man. Big old wide horned devil, look at him. Man alive. Great shot. John, I gotta tell you, Argentina's full of surprises. You know, we come out here in this sorghum field, and we're looking over here, and I, you know, I, I did the same thing you did. You know, check around every now and then to see what's behind me, but, you know, the wind was coming straight at our faces, and I didn't think there's any way in the world something would approach from behind. And here he comes. At one point, I thought he'd win it. I thought he would turn into lead, but he was just gathering the harem up to bring him into the sorghum. Um, really tough shot. But this is a good deer. You know, he, he's got maybe not as much time length as, as some others that I've seen. But gosh, look at the mass, and look at how white he is. For a stag. For a stag? Look at that. Nice crown. He's got a nice crown. Got the cups there. Well, the good shooting was one shoulder. He, he actually knows how to stand still. <laughs> 
I had no rest. I had nothing. Uh, great shot. Good Outstanding. Shot. What a good hunt. Excellent shooting, sir. I appreciate it, Thank my friend. You. My pleasure. My pleasure.